Hello everybody, this is Scott Bradley coming to you from www.scottbradley.name and in this Evernote Scott video I'm going to go over something that will help you keep everything that you want to reference in the future but you don't necessarily want to keep in your personal space all the time right now. Um, this is going to be a very quick video. Um, it's a very simple setup that I'm going to show you that allows me to keep all keep every, you know I mean every single day we're bombarded with so much incoming stuff some of it we delete some of it we address and others that we want to keep it but we don't necessarily know where we want to organize it or how we want to keep up with it so this little Evernote setup system is really going to help you manage that third type the it's always coming to me I don't always have time to look at it. I don't always have time to deal with it in the moment, but I want to keep it to reference later. So the way we set this up is very, very simple. The first thing you want to do is go and create a notebook, and I like to call this notebook the reference notebook. And in, in simple, simple terms, the reference notebook is set up to manage all of the stuff that you come across that you don't necessarily address in the moment, but it's for future reference. So for instance, you see a blog post that's posted in your Facebook feed that's valuable that you don't necessarily want to act on all the information right now, but you want to ref be able to reference it later and find it quick, quickly and easily so you can implement it when you're ready to. So again, just set up a reference notebook and there's really nothing special in here. But here is what happens and how you utilize it. Let's say again, going back to that example of you're in your Facebook feed, one of your friends shares a blog post from a website, and you find that the content is A, really valuable, B, definitely something you want to keep at your fingertips but not necessarily on your desktop or put the link in somewhere that you want to access every day, and third, it may be also of that piece of content where it's like you know you're going to reference this in the future when you either do a new project, bring on a new client, work with somebody new, but you want to put it somewhere and organize it in a way that makes sense to you so you can find it fast when you need it. So the way this works is that in this notebook, and so we got the reference notebook, we have all the notes in the reference notebook, and we got the content in each note. So, so let's just take that example like I said earlier you're gonna create a new note and you're gonna make title it whatever it is blog post about XYZ topic it may be real estate investing um, tips okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the link here and then put any commentary about article so for instance I liked how simple the step-by-step -step process was, yada, yada, whatever, okay? So you've put one thing in your reference notebook that you want to reference in the future, possibly. Now, here is where the magic happens and what, why this, this notebook and this setup that I'm going to show you is so valuable. At the end of the day, the magic is in the tagging structure that you set up for yourself. Now, you may be, I'm going to show you my tagging structure in a second, um, but first, before I show that to you, I want you to step back for a moment and think, what are the things and the categories and the contexts that I want to set up? And Because I know the type of content that I'm going to want to collate and put in my reference notebook in the future. Because what that's going to help you do is create the context and the tags to find this stuff way faster in the future. So I'm going to just show you a list of some of my tags and how I set it up. So this is a screenshot of some of the tags. And let me just make it very simple here. All right. So this is a, a list of my tags that I have. Um, and as you can see, the way I structure it is I have a, let's see, I have, again, as all my tags have done in the past, you know, for contacts, it was C-O-N. For PeoplePad, it was P-E-E-P-S. For um, 
funnel, it was F-U-N. But for all the tags for the reference notebook, it starts with ref. So as you can see here, this one is reference, content, blog, biz. So all the content that I come across that's, rep, that's a blog-based content, but it's business content that I know I want to reference in the future, I tag it, reference, content, blog, biz. Let's look at another one. Reference personal reminders. So some of the things that I may come across, I want to have personal reminders in the future. There you go. Reference placing ads direct mail. Reference placing ads mobile. Reference placing ads web. As you can see, I'm definitely in the marketing space that these would make sense why I have these tags. Reference placing solo ads. Um, let's see another one here. Uh, reference tools. Reference verbiage. Um, you know, reference hotel. Again, these contexts that you set up for yourself are really going to be catered to you and your needs, and your, you know your behavior and how you're going to look up things in the future that you want to save. So again, this could be picture-based stuff, this could be content-based stuff, this could be white papers that you read that you want to reference later possibly, this could be um, audios that you listen to that you may want to reference in the future. This, you know, this is kind of like the final dumping ground for content that doesn't fit into any of the other previous notebooks and systems that we've set up in the past in all of these past Evernote videos. So again, as you can imagine, you're going to basically build up this reference notebook with multiple different notes, multiple different content pieces, multiple different you know pieces of information that you may want to reference later but you don't want to necessarily keep it at the forefront of your day every single day. And the thing is, is that once you build this framework of tagging, of tags, and multiple notes in this reference notebook, what it allows you to do is in the future you say, okay, I need to reference that note or that article about this specific thing, and I know it's in my reference notebook. So I'm going to go up here and go reference, and I'm going to go, you know, ref... Now again, my tags aren't here because I haven't built anything in here. I just showed you the list. And then you can go ref, and I know it's a piece of content, so I'm going to go content, and I know it's blog content, so it's going to be blog, and it's a, you know it's about business, so biz. And then you'll be able to come here, click it down here, and then it's only going to pull up your reference blog content biz stuff. And if you wanted to granularly down search it one more time, you could even put the keyword of what you know is in that actual Evernote post or in that actual note. So that's why this commentary, and I sometimes also put keywords. So if I wanted to save something on blogging, I would put the word blogging here. If I know it was um, business, it would be business. So it allows you to tag everything strategically so you can easily find it going forward. And what this really allows you to do is to completely empty your mind so that you're not managing all these little minute details every single day. So I hope that was valuable for you. Again, if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe for updates at scottbradley.name slash Evernote tips. And if you want to share this video with, you, with your friends, please do thumb it up, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. That would be great. Hope you have a great rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll be talking with you soon, and I look forward to creating the next video for you. Talk to you later. Bye.